Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and chairman of the board of directors of oil and gas holding company, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a decision to appoint Dr. Rainer Sally as a member of the Tatawir board. He praised the qualifications and expertise of the appointee and said that he would be a notable addition to the board. He affirmed that the best talents are chosen to develop the field of oil and gas in order to support the national economy. His Highness wished the appointee's success in implementing the vision of the company and in putting his expertise to use for that purpose. Dr. Sally has a PhD and a master's degree in chemistry from Germany and is the chair chairman of the German-Russian Chamber of Commerce. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised Cordoba CF after they beat Montejo 3-1 in the second division of the Spanish League. His Highness underlined that observers of the Spanish competitions realized the amount of efforts being exerted by the management of the team and the support provided by the players. He pointed out that the weeks ahead require everyone involved in the team to intensify their efforts to continue accomplishing positive results and reach the set goals. Cordoba the CF maintained its position as the leader of Group 4 with 25 points, 7 points ahead of the second place team. The Representative Speaker Council for Zia Zena received a number of members from the European Parliament. Zainal affirmed that the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King has achieved advanced levels in the field of human rights. She affirmed that the reform project has made legal and democratic strides which made Bahrain a role model for many countries in its tolerance and coexistence. She said that parliamentary cooperation should be further enhanced in all fields and underlined the kingdom's achievements and the importance of displaying them into the world. The visitors affirmed the importance of observing the democratic process in the kingdom in light of its comprehensive development process thanks to the vision of His Majesty the King. They affirm their keenness on building stronger ties with the Representatives Council. We want to increase our relationship with uh, Parliament uh, of Bahrain and between uh, the Parliament uh, of European Union. We have it here many experienced members uh, with and this is what we want. We want closely discuss all the issues. We are not only for for really discussion about human rights, but we are much more uh, much more for discussion the issues what are very important the economic issues our um, uh, our relationship in business sphere in security co cooperation and other things what are most important then uh, the issues about the fake news etc i think um, um, bahrain is very modern very beautiful country and this is what we have to present in in especially in the european union the Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The council discussed the report of the committee concerned with responding to the royal speech during the opening of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. They affirmed that the speech is an anticipation of what the next stage requires in terms of measures and legislation in line with the government's economic recovery plan. They also took the final decision regarding a draft law amending an article in the social security law. In line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayed Al Zayani, announced the new 2022-2026 to Tourism Strategy, which aims to diversify the Kingdom's economic portfolio in parallel with the recently launched Economic Recovery Plan. The Minister highlighted that Bahrain is working on increasing the tourism sector's contribution to the GDP, in line with the government's development plans headed by by His Royal Highness, a Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister noted that in line with the Kingdom's economic recovery plan, the tourism sector will aim to increase the total number of tourists to 14.1 million by 2026, the average daily visitor spend to 74.8 Bahraini dinars, and raise the average tourist stay to 3.5 days. Zayani highlighted that the tourism plan will contribute to the national economy, increase the Kingdom's competitiveness, and attract further investments that will benefit the country and 
and its citizens. The minister said that the implementation of the economic recovery plan and the tourism sector development strategy has led to the construction of a Donna Theatre, which held its first event yesterday. In this regard, the minister stressed the importance of these national tourism projects to showcase Bahrain as a destination, which will contribute to economic growth and creating opportunities for citizens. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the third race of the season at a Rafah race course in Askhil. Tireless Plastic Industries General Manager Adil Al Jabri presented the company's cup to owner Haytham Al Bastigi, to the, the winner of the second round. He also presented the cup to the third round to His Highness Sheikh Sultan Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the cup of the fifth round to trainer Alan Smith, and the cup of the seventh round to Faisal Al Ajmi. Al Jabri presented the cup of the fourth round to owner Salah Bastigi with Adnan Sayyid Ahmed Al Alawi presented the cup of late Sayyid Sharaf Al Alawi to trainer Alan Smith. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Executive Director Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the Safra Cup to trainer Yusuf Al Buaini. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,181,179 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,144,534 had taken the second, and 470,138 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. <laughs> 